I sense this is- what in the hell did I just do? Um... Hey everyone, so during my playthrough of Indigo Park, I somehow managed to activate some kind of debug mode with keybinds or something. And after activating this keybind mode, it pretty much broke the entire game. I was clipping out of bounds, like, stuff wasn't loading in, textures were disappearing, I wasn't seeing jump scares. I somehow bypassed an entire section of the game without realizing it. I've tried to piece together the footage a little bit better, so it's kind of not, you know, awful, but this- this video is very scuffed. If the devs are watching this, uh, lock your debug mode. It, players can access it with keybinds. And it, it, it breaks stuff. It breaks a lot of stuff. Hello everybody, welcome to Indigo Park. This is a new Graf I guess, inspired fan game. Or I guess I, I think it's inspired by a few things actually. Because I was looking at the Steam page and it, it very much gives off Poppy Playtime vibes. And I did see like a 15 second clip of someone playing it. And it did remind me a lot of Case Animatronic, so it looks like it has a lot of things going for it. Uh, however, honestly, I have no idea what this game is actually about. I don't even know if this is a horror game, but I'm I'm like 90% sure it is. But either way, welcome to Indigo Park. This is a new... I don't want to say a FNAF fan game, because like, it does seem like it's its own original thing. And I'm very curious to see what it actually has going or what it's about basically also there's like a little oh wait what uh indigo park i really hope this is recording this newfound paradise we welcome you indigo park offers a slice of the american dream to call your own in this place echoes of is that a real person or is that a is it a model wait captures a glimpse of the exciting potential no no that's three the way his, his mouth's moving i thought it was a real person at first that was that's really well done truth that gave rise to our great nation here you embark on the journey of a lifetime a place of creativity joy and fantasy where your dreams come spooky wait what the hell wait what the hell this is wait 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 no I don't like that. That's just my gaming setup. What the fuck? What no? All right, let me let me take a picture of this and show this on the video. Wait a minute. That's that's hilarious. Wait. All right. So again, this is literally my gaming setup. It has the exact same monitor layout. That's mildly disturbing. That's that's spooky. I don't like that at all. Wait. If I can like I don't know. Future me in editing. Make like a comparison because that's kind of spooky. Anyways, now that I've been thoroughly disturbed, let's let's see what this game is actually about. This is really well made as well. Uh-oh. Did the game crash? Wait, did I speak too soon? Um. Okay, the game's not frozen, but the cutscene broke, I think. Or is this it? Wait, do I do I hold skip? I feel like the game bugged out. I'm gonna hold skip. Editor Nar here, and yeah, my track record of breaking any indie game I touch within the first few minutes is continuing because, yeah, this cutscene bugged out. I broke it. Whoa. This looks awesome. Holy crap. Indigo Park. Okay, this reminds me of the, um... The amusement park level from, like, Dark Deception, actually. Again, I am comparing it to other games. And that's not me trying to say, like, oh, they did it better. Unfortunately, the indie game landscape is kind of oversaturated with everything right now. So I think everything will have some comparison. But again, that's not a bad thing. Mm. And welcome to Indigo Park! The world's most innovative and engaging family fun experience. Jump into the world of your favorite character. <laughs> Wait, you're our first guest in 2,920 days, 4 hours, 23 minutes, and 38 seconds. Congratulations! I'm Is that a window? Really oh, that's a window. And it's my job I couldn't even tell there was a glass there. Here at Indigo Park is the most fun it can be. Just hop on over to the registration center to your left. That got really dark. Oh my god. Adventure in the park. Okay. Press E to interact while looking at an object. Okay. Hi, oh. I'm Ramley, Ramley the raccoon, and it's my job to make sure your experience here. Was I meant to do this? I wasn't paying attention, attention to what he was saying. Let me just get a good look at you. Hmm. Don't 
seem to have your face in our guest list. I broke and Is this your first I'm a criminal. Time you're in the park? Or did you just get plastic surgery? Not that I'm aware of. Alright, I already have questions. Is that a pre-recorded message? Is that like an AI I'm talking to? Is the computer alive? Do I go back this way, I guess? Pull the lever? What's the hold up? The gate's open. Oh, I, I picked it up, I guess. Hmm, hold on. My mistake. The gate is not open. There seems to be an Okay, so it is an AI that I'm talking to. Alright, so I have to turn on the generator, which I'm assuming I'm just going to follow this cable. Why did I hear a spooky sound effect? Um, alright, sure. Where does this go? Oh, this is open now. Ah, the Indigo Violet Compact Power Generator. I'm just going to grab all the plushies. Be inoperable. Looks like oh? Missing a piece. Can you find is that it? it? Is that it there? Or is that on top of... Hold shift while sprint. I don't like that. When a game tells you how to run, that's not a good thing. Okay, so I need to find a gear then. It is very dark as well. Like, if I turn this light... If I turn the light off, the universe just disappears. Right, if I was a random gear... Where would I... This is closed. Um... Oh, there's a giant gear right there. I'm blind. Can I open the door? Okay, for real this time. Welcome to Indigo Park! Uh, what is that? Is that a statue staring at me? Because that's not ominous at all. I just kind of go and explore, I guess, for right now. Can't do anything there. Alright, I'm just going to grab all the plushies, because I'm assuming there's probably lore behind the plushies or something. Do I go towards the, uh, the spooky statue of death? That will allow you access to reserve areas, and I, charge payments to um, your room, and wear a critter cuff. I think there's some in the gift shop. Head in there, I, I'll get, I get through. Uh, that's not letting me through. The gift shop. Oh. Can I just pick up all these plushies? The what? Oh my god, it's the not of any mask. Is that the scooper? What the hell? Is... Why not test out your band and save the day? How do how do I is, I feel like I'm being marketed. Is this actual merchandise? This has to be actual merchandise. I'm just blatantly being marketed to. Um, how do I do that? Oh, what did I just do? I, I did something. My god, my bicep is huge. Hooray! Holy shit. Fun, it's like the end of my arm is like a noodle, and it's just like the upper arm is just like jacked as hell. How do I... Oh, there we go. Were your eyes glowing before? I thought they were glowing. That's, um... Okay, sure. That's not ominous at all. You're not spooky in the slightest. I recently watched, like, Windigoon's video on the whole, like, Monument Mythos video or whatever. So, seeing a giant metal statue does not fill me with confidence. It fills me with dread and horror. Okay. Your rambly Tuesday Rambles Railroad. Why not celebrate this great deal with a ride on my railroad? Alright, I'm just gonna start running around because anytime I go to a door, it seems like it's the wrong door. I go into here. Gimme. I picked up a thing. I get stuck on everything. Running around at the speed of sound. Alright, maybe I do go in this door. Let me see. I don't see anything else. Oh yeah, it's open. Oh yay! It's it's just like a real amusement park where I have to wait in, uh, wait in the queue for like an hour. 
spatial data suggests you may be a- So the game does have a brightness slider, however, I have not found that yet. I do find it later on in the recording. However, as for right now, I can't see like five feet in front of me without the flashlight. And even with the flashlight, I'm still practically blind in any dark room. I jumped right here because a spooky hand went around the corner, which I was able to see because I think my monitor's brightness settings were all the way maxed out. But on the recording, it doesn't show up at all. You can't see a thing. Bit older than the uh, for this ride. what was it? One of my favorites. Do you know why? What was that? I looked away for like a split second and I thought I saw something out of the corner of my eye, but I, I don't know if I actually did or not. Again, I know I'm comparing this game to a lot of things, and again, uh, I keep having to preference this. It's not actually bad to not be original. Like, one of my favorite series is Black Clover, and that series basically has nothing original to it. It takes, like, things from all other series, but it, like, evolves them and expands upon them. Pretty much takes them in concept to the furthest point they can go, and does it really well. So, so far, this is really well made. Okay. Who? Oh. Pilot you ever saw. You sure are, Mo. Why you only crash into six bars this week? Uh what was that? Was that you but like spooky? <laughs> What's barnstorming? It's crashing like spirals. It's barely hurts at all. Say, those young adventures you got along with me look like great pilots. I sense this is what in the hell did I just do? Um What what did I just do? I broke it. Um... What the hell? What did I do? Um... What? What the heck? What? What happened? Um... Okay. Alright, great. Oh, Finley! Come on out and greet the people! Uh... Okay, I was kind of expecting something actually terrifying. Why the long face? My, my tracking is also freaking out a bit. Was it my, my keybind on my tracking? No, but it kind of zooms in. Whoa, it is. What is this? I'm always long because I... What? Did I, like, accidentally enable some kind of, like, debug mode? Wait, did I already break the game? I don't know what I've done. I'm gonna stop touching buttons. My keybinds on my stream deck or my... VTuber emotes and stuff apparently activate some kind of debug mode on the game. So I did go and play through the game an entire second time and during the game I was unable to actually pull up this debug mode using these keybinds, which leads me to assume whatever I did during the opening cutscene of the game broke it. I think I probably clicked the keybinds during the opening cinematic and then that unlocked the debug mode, or at least that's my theory. I have no idea what I did to this game. I, I broke everything. This is a very fun ride. Oh, I might have spoken too soon. I'm gonna say this is a fun ride, and now I'm looking at this, and... Doesn't look... ideal. Oh, I'm out of the train now. Okay. What is this? Is that a cutout? Looks like a person. Oh. Oh my god, it's a furry! No! I'm doomed. Is that a door? This looks... Oh, something opened that door. Alright, I, I guess I just... Yeah, right, that's fine, I guess. Sure. Uh, you're not gonna jump up and chase me, are you? You know, you would never do such a thing. I'm sure of that. Oh, I'm being teleported again. Okay. Is that blood? I don't think I missed that. There's blood there. What a wonderful ride this is. Who are you? Peter Lloyd. Do not shame me with that common folk name. I am Lloyd. the proud, the prestigious, the professional Lloydford L. Lyon. Or extraordinaire! Great act, Lloyd. Of course 
Alright, so they don't seem to like each other, apparently. The animations on this game are absolutely amazing. Just, like, the slight, like, wobble of the train is, like, really, like, it's... I don't know how to explain it. It's, like, energetically animated. I don't know. So, where do you want to go? Why am I here? I feel like I missed something important on the cutscene. That's a bird chasing me on the, the track, but... That's probably fine. Are you gonna catch up to me? What is all of this? I feel like I probably missed something important by the cutscene breaking at the beginning of the game. I'm assuming I'm probably missing some kind of context here. So I don't actually know why I'm here. This is just like Disney Disneyland though, and I love it. All right, well, I'm just gonna continue collecting all the plushies because I'm assuming they'll lead to some secret ending or something. Like, it it's one thing for like, you know, Oh, a pizzeria is run down and old, but, like, this place looks like it was hit by a nuke. Like, the Mega Pizzaplex being in, you know, ruin, within ruin, they had to justify by, you know, having me, like, you know, an earthquake and the blob and all that, but, like, what on earth happened here to cause this amount of damage? Did the zombie apocalypse happen? I'm gonna find Rick Grimes. I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get taken by the, uh, the CRM. Jet Streams Junction. Well, I didn't get to read all of that, but I'm going to assume it's the only building that's currently open, which was the Lion Building, so I'm going to go back here. Oh my god, there is. Yay. Turn this up. I cannot see a thing. Oh, that is significantly better. That is a lion. Is that an actual, just a full on lion? Oh. Okay. Ufasa, I I've come to bargain. Hey, buddy. I've got eyes all over the park, but I can't see anything behind the stage. If you're going back there, be careful. Your critter cop is not yet able to resuscitate you. Oh, this is open now. What was that? I heard a spooky note. Um. Do I actually have to care about that? Like on a scale of 1 to 10, how much do I have to care about that? Because I really don't care about it that much currently. Uh, I feel like the lion's gonna, you know, not actually do much. I mean, what's he gonna do? Kill me? I'd like to see him try. He couldn't kill me even if he he tried. I'm... Uh, I brought lion repellent, you see. Oh my... Why did that get me? Oh my god. I can't believe that made me jump. Um, anyways, let's run the other way. Wait, I can't move. What the hell? Oh. Okay. Spooky. I I'm actually just disappointed in myself. You know, I should have pulled up the lion repellent, and then, you know, I- You see what happened there is I forgot I had lion repellent, you know? If I had remembered that, I would have been scared, because I would have known that I would have been fine. Forgetful brain I have. I just, you know, forgot I had lion repellent. Is all this. What are looking for, anyways? Some key, I believe? It's a computer. A copy machine. Can I access the computer? What exactly am I supposed to be looking for? Can I open any of these? No. Oh, is it this? Okay, cool. Use the key to unlock Jetstream Junction. How how concerned do I have to be about the movement I'm hearing? Waiting for the jump scare. Button. Hello! Hello, Mufasa. Alright, goodbye, Mufasa. Um, what was the point of that? Where'd he go? Wait, what? Alright. My god, it's Big Bird. Oh, what is this? Can I play Skyrim? Oh my god, this is actually a full-on full game. Oh, I'm dead. Oh, am I gonna have to listen to this every time I die? God, this kind of hurts my eyes looking at this, to be honest. Oh 
My god, why is the saturation so high? In the contrast, my eyes are burning. What? No. Wait, oh, I, I killed it? Okay. I can Goomba stomp them. Oh, what? Molly, what happened? I was flying through the woods, but suddenly I couldn't see a thing. What is that? What the? Looks like trouble, I'd make it double! Oh no, she's... What? Did she just die? She di oh my god, she's a zombie. Molly's been turned into a zombie. She's a walker, I was right, this is the walking dead! Oh, don't you go complain about that I have, you know, the power of friendship is a powerful thing. Alright, I'm gonna perform a uh, friendship dropkick. It was not effective, apparently. Alright, I'm gonna run. Um... What do I do about this exactly? Am I winning? Did I win? I did not win. I, I think I'm winning. Um. So what, um... Okay. If you've watched anyone else play this game, you would know that I should not be here yet. And I don't know why I am. Um. Moon. Sun. Catnap. You here? What in the hell? Okay, light one here. My god, it's Squid Game. Oh, it's a code, wait. Right? I'm assuming this is a code of some kind. Well, time to go explore and probably get jumped by a bunch of tiny plushy dogs. That goes in a loop. What should I be doing then? Um, the bird... I don't see any logos, unless these are color-coded, wait. But in what order would they be color coded? Because there's a star. Oh. Alright, this opened. My god, it's a big bird. Alright, well, I have no idea what exactly I'm doing, so I'm just gonna kind of wander around through this ominous tube waiting for them to jump out at me and try and steal my soul. Speak of the devil! Speak of the devil, and the big birds come to steal my soul. Oh, time to jump in the, uh, the hole. We And just like that, I broke all my legs. Here I did. Well, let's go this way. I'm sure nothing bad's over here. Whoa, whoa, what the hell? Um, what? Okay. Honestly, I'm surprised I haven't had something jump out and kill me yet. Okay, there's a green triangle here. Should I be keeping track of what order I'm seeing these in? Is this, like, gonna be the code? So, was I... I was meant to be keeping track of those, weren't I? Alright, well, let me just kind of write down what order these all appear in, I guess. Is it an order or the colors? I guess I'll go off the colors, because there's no one path I could take that would give me an order. I guess I will just go off of colors. Alright, we have an orange O. Alright, we have a red star. Alright, we have a green triangle. I know they're not a thing anymore, but does anyone remember those, like, playgrounds that McDonald's used to have? Those were awesome. I continue. Okay, we got a blue star. Alright, so if I change the blue to the star, green's already a triangle, orange should be O, and red should be the star. Alright, what's gonna come out and try to kill me now? Do I go up here? Alright, into, into the, the tube. I am somewhere. Well, let me go uh, poke whatever that is. Yep, that's about what I expected. I'm just gonna book it. Hey! 
I don't actually know how fast this thing is. Holy crap, it's fast! Ah, I'm gonna miss that. Oh, no, I got that. Okay. I'm not entirely sure where I meant to be going. Oh, I got high! Uh, where am I? Uh, I'm just gonna keep going. I don't know how high. Um, I'm dead. You were caught by Molly Mackerel. Is that button won't open the door? Can I just jump from here? Awesome. I'm curious. Do you do you actually start running from the beginning? You do. Okay. Oh god, there's no way I'm remembering this layout if I have to go a specific way. I don't know if she's still following me. Oh, she is. Oh my god. What the hell? Um, what? Uh, I I'm sorry? I, I was like on the other side of the hallway? Um, so yeah, Big Bird doesn't actually run that fast, and they went from pretty much just now going out of the doorway to being directly behind me in like one second. I got blitzed by the bird. I'm just gonna chalk this up to assuming there's some kind of kill barrier that's following me or something, because like, that bird did not catch me. What? No. Um, you were nowhere near me. Ah, oh, I gotta do it again. God damn it. You were nowhere near me. Uh, yeah, I could see you in my line of sight, but you were like, you just came out of the, the doorway. I saw how fast you ran the first time. There's no way in hell you got from point A to point B that fast and killed me. I'm wondering if it's like, if I stop moving for a certain amount of time, if I instantly die. Alright, I'm not letting this dumb bird kill me this time. I'm just gonna continue running. You'll never catch me. I am the fastest green amphibian who has ever lived within human skin. What is that? I want it. Oh, that's a, uh, I thought it was an Easter egg. Okay. I don't care. Let me in. Um. Alright, this is how I die. Okay. Oh no. Anyways. Transparency is an important part of our policy here at Indigo Park. Something. The park has been inactive for years. You don't say. I have no idea where I am. Oceanic Odyssey. All right, let's go see what this is. Doing a great job, rookie wrangler. You'll find a pumper and porpoises, pickles, and perches as far as the eye can see. But please don't tap the glass. You don't really know what I am an amphibian, I have you know. I can swim in the water. I can't breathe in the water. Yeah, I, I inherited many traits of the narwhal, but that was unfortunately not one of them. Okay. Not that they can in the first place, they're kind of like dolphins, but not really. Don't worry, it's fine. I don't blame you for taking a rest after all that. Wait, am I about- is this a musical? Wait. But before you settle down, you offer a little survey to help us improve the park? Thanks for visiting Indigo Park. Let's go! We can get some musical game! I actually really like that. That's cool. I've never seen this in a game before. For the Rambly Review, I'm here to offer my best to each valuable guest I assist. And lots this is a bop. Feedback ensures I get to exist. Let's try it. Were you satisfied with the rides? Yes or no. Were you satisfied with your guide? I sure hope so. Do you plan to come back? Will I see you again? Did your experience convince you to tell a friend? I'm assuming this is the end of the uh the chapter of the game. And lots of this is really well made. Ensures you're gonna return. Right. I'm so happy you wrote a ride. And saw the show. I'm so happy to be your guide. More than you know. I, I'm really excited to see the water ride, though. A lot of my criticisms so far has just been that a lot of the stuff we've seen hasn't been original. Which, again, as I've already said, it doesn't make it bad. But as far as I'm aware, I, I don't remember there being any water... Anything relating to water in any FNAF game. Outside of maybe Sinister Turmoil. Like the Mangle version or whatever, with the sewers. Outside of that, I, I can't remember any FNAF game heavily incorporating water. So I am a, I'm very excited to see whatever the aquarium area is. 
Also, this is a bop. This is an absolute bop. Sad. Oh wait, what? Now my now my hand tracking works. What the heck? Why did that? Wait, I don't know. Thank you. In the Go Park is a full passion project. I definitely got that from the game. Again, this was very well made. Stories in a world that we want to create with Rambly and his friends are very special to us. But with the scale of this game, we're going to need some time. If you enjoyed your experience with Chapter One, consider supporting our socials if you want to see Chapter Two. All right, I'll link their I'll link the Steam page as well as their YouTube channel in the description. But this was very well made. But anyways, I hope you all enjoyed. Had a great morning, a great evening, and a great existence. I will see all of you next time. And with that said and done, peace out and have a great existence.